Shepherds, terriers, border collies, these are breeds of dog known for their agility and particularly their ability to jump really, really high. As a result, many owners have a problem with a standard five or six foot fence being too short to keep them actually in the yard. Some owners deal with this by putting their dog on a long leash, not long enough to escape, but long enough so the pup can do what working dogs do, you know, run. Uh, how long that leash has to be is something that has to be considered. Uh, and facts like the size of yard and uh, yard obstacles like trees and outdoor furniture, uh, the height of the fence. Um, the security concept of lease privilege is very similar to figuring out how long that leash run has to be. So the concept of lease privilege, uh, as the name implies, is ensuring that the permissions are the very least that are required for a given user or application. Keeping in mind, again, applications and users from a permission perspective essentially operating the same. At determining that appropriate role, we start off with what we call the bare minimum requirements. And then we include the possible flexible roles or permissions. Once we consider what the ideal role is, we're going to want to build a custom R back. And we're going to want to have that based around not only the minimums, but also our uncommon, our unexpected, but possible, and the inconsistent, as in something that's not required very often. Uh, but it's hard to predict when exactly that requirement is going to pop up. So we're going to use PIM uh, or a service similar to that that allows us to specify not only our uh, active permissions, of course, but also our, our eligible. And then we can add an entirely other method of managing this, this, this concept of lease privilege by adding things like conditional access. So now we have this, this ma matrix, right, of, uh, of, of the active permissions. They have to. Uh, and then the eligible permissions that that would or could be required. And then we're going to add a Z access that can include time, location, MFA requirements, and even method of access, like an operating system version or browser. Remember, the more data, the more accurate the least privileged model is going to be applied because you're considering a wider range of variables. Configuring, collecting, and applying all of the different security tools that you have available to you and also application of the concept of least privilege is how you accomplish well-designed security. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.